Christopher's behind the line in three, two, one, go! And it's the beginning of our autonomous period in elimination match number three here on Ford Field at Kettering University. We've got three red robots moving, three blue robots moving. 36-68 engaged on the red station as we move into the teleoperated period with red ahead, 30 to 13. The Tesla machine had a game piece in their possession. They picked it back up, going to score high over in the blue, for the blue alliance. Meanwhile, more Martians doing what we've seen them do this entire tournament back and forth across the field and scoring high as they just did here. 52-82, Railroader Robotics also contributing to that red score as the Trobots score again. 52-82, Railroaders working on picking up a game piece as 5538 Viking bots can't tell if they're lining up to score and they just scored for the Blue Alliance. We've got a minute left, a minute left in this one. Red Alliance up 69 to 33. Blue's going to have some work to do, but the match is not out of reach for them yet. As 5538 Play some pretty heavy defense. That's the Viking bots against more Martians. The whistle means it's our end game period. Trobots lining up to get up onto that station along with the Martians. Let's see if they can do it. 5538 giving our third red team, 5282, a little bit of difficulty trying to slow them down from lining up. We've got 10 seconds left. We had two blue robots up. I think one of their compatriots decided they didn't deserve to be there as we end this one with two robots on each alliance, all engaged with a score of 102. To 86. All right, this match will work exactly like the previous matches. The winner will go on to the upper bracket. The loser will go to the lower bracket. With that being said, we have the number three.